Sep. to my channel today's video is going to be another vlog today is wednesday and i did just log off of work i am actually getting ready to pack for a trip i will be flying to the bay area tomorrow evening to visit my family i actually haven't seen my family since christmas so i'm looking forward to seeing my parents and my siblings i unfortunately am visiting um to attend a funeral i wish it was on better terms but um yes i will be attending a funeral for a relative who passed away i am looking forward to seeing all my relatives since i don't get to see them often since i do live a little further away but um, I do need to start packing and I actually need to get my nails done. I was hoping to go to the nail salon, but the time just kind of got away from me. So I actually have these press on nails I got from Glamnetic a while back and I actually really love their press on nails. So I'm gonna try and put these on. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera and show you guys how I pop these on and then I will check in with you guys in a bit. So here is just a close up of the press on nails that I will be putting on. These are called Perpsicle and I think they are really cute but yeah I did just kind of cut my nails already and file them down so I'm gonna quickly pop these on As you saw earlier, I did just pop on those Glamnetic press on nails and here are how my nails came out. I don't think it looks too bad, especially for a 10 minute manicure. I did also just check the mail and receive some exciting packages, so I thought I would do a quick little PR haul with you guys. So the first thing I got is this package right here. This is from Teeny. I believe they sent me a product from their latest launch, so I'm excited to see what this is. And I have worked with Teamy a ton of times before. I love all their products from their skincare items to their protein powders, collagen powder, their super greens powder. I have talked about their stuff plenty of times on my videos. I do have a discount code with them that I will pop up here on the screen. Okay, so here's just how the inside of the package looks like. And ooh. So they did send me their Teamy Dark Spot Serum. Again, I believe this is the latest launch of their product, so I'm super excited to try this out. It says this is a Teamy Bright Dark Spot Serum. It's a potent formula of 10% vitamin C, azelaic acid, and floral superfoods like reviving calendula to enhance skin radiance without irritation. This lightweight, silky gel quickly absorbs to deliver optimal balance and glow, gentle enough for everyday use, perfect for dark spots, dullness, hyperpigmentation, and acne marks. And again, of course, all of their products are made with the best ingredients. This is natural, vegan, non-GMO, certified cruelty-free, and it's created in small batches made without artificial fragrance, alcohol, parabens, sulfates, synthetic dyes, and artificial chemicals. So I'm gonna just go ahead and open this up. It kind of reminds me of like a papaya or mango, but here is how it looks like. It's just in this very aesthetic packaging and it does come with a pump. So I do have some makeup on, so I will have to try this on later tonight, but I'll just put some on my hand for you guys to see. Ooh. It doesn't have a scent at all, but look at that color. So I'm gonna just rub it in and ooh, it feels very nice. It kind of also has like a cooling effect. Here's how it looks. And the texture is nice. It's not too thick. It's not tacky or sticky. It does feel very lightweight. So 
I'm excited to try this out into my routine and I do actually have a, a lot of acne scars right now. I tend to break out after my monthly cycle which just ended a few weeks ago so I am dealing with a couple of acne scars right now so I'm excited to see if I notice any differences with this serum so I will definitely keep you guys updated. But yeah, and then the next package I got is actually from, yet again, Liquid IV. I swear they have the best PR packages, but they sent me this huge box. I did kind of open the top a little bit just because I wanted to take a quick little peek, but I will go ahead and show you guys what I got from Liquid IV. So, ooh, look at this box. This is such a pretty box. I am honestly so excited. Every time I get a package from Liquid IV, I honestly feel like a kid. I get so excited because they seriously give the best PR packages. But I'm gonna just open this up. So here's what the inside looks like. So this is actually, I believe, Liquid IV's latest launch as well. So this is a Hydration Plus Probiotics. The first thing in here is the Hydration Multiplier Drink Mix. This is in the Tart Green Apple. And it looks like this one actually has powdered probiotic kombucha in this drink mix. So I'm super excited to try this out. I love having kombucha every single day. So I am sure I will love this. And then the next thing in here is just this pouch. The next thing in here is a water bottle and i am actually super excited about this i have been wanting to get another water bottle especially for traveling since i don't want to be carrying my gallon water bottle at the airport so this honestly came at the perfect time but look how cute that bottle is very aesthetic and the top just twists off and then the last thing in here is this pouch i'm actually not sure what this is Let's see. How cute. It's a little tote bag. Oh, here's the front. This is going to be perfect for groceries, just for carrying around whenever I am doing errands. I just need to have a bag handy with me. But yes, definitely check out Liquid IV. I do have a discount code that I will pop on here on the screen. But that is everything I received this week. I do need to get started on doing some laundry and I still need to pack. But yeah, I will check back in with you guys in a bit. day today is Thursday I did work from home today and I just logged off about an hour and a half ago and I'm just kind of getting the rest of my stuff together my flight is tonight at 8 p.m. so I have a little bit of time before my flight here is everything I'm bringing I am traveling alone this time around so I was hoping I could throw everything in a duffel bag but I kind of needed the extra space since I didn't have the extra space to throw some stuff in my fiance's bag so I just kind of went all out with the full-on baggage but I just have a couple of outfits here. I'm bringing my Louis bag and I'm just kind of using this as my carry-on since I can throw a lot of things in here. I just have a bag of my toiletries, my glasses, and my serums, moisturizers, contacts. I have my sunglasses, wallet, makeup bag, charger. And I actually like throwing in my toiletry bag in a carry-on just because you never know if your baggage will get lost on the flight and I just don't know what I would do without my retainers, my contacts, my glasses. So I like keeping that in my carry-on bag. And then I just have some stuff here, my makeup all packed in my Merit Beauty bag, camera. I am bringing my liquid IV water bottle. I'm bringing some liquid IV as well and I'm also gonna throw this into my bag. I'm actually going to try one of those in a bit before my flight. So I'll do a quick little taste test with you guys. And I am bringing my Colleen Hoover book just in case I have some time to read at the airport before I board. 
I am about a hundred or so pages in and so far it's pretty good and then I just have another toiletry bag I have a pair of heels and just some hair tools and that is pretty much everything I will be bringing but yeah I will be up in the Bay Area Thursday night Friday night Saturday night and then I do come back early Sunday morning so I will be there for a couple of days so I'm looking forward to seeing my family I honestly miss them so much it's been so long since I've been with my family like I mentioned yesterday the last time I saw them was Christmas so it's going to be a nice little reunion but yeah I'm going to do a quick little taste test of that liquid IV flavor I just got yesterday <laughs> So I just put together some of that liquid IV I got yesterday. Again, that is the green tart apple and it is their liquid hydration drink mix that also has kombucha in it. So it is their latest flavor. It does really have a very strong, sweet apple scent. Um, it kind of reminds me of what a green apple Jolly Rancher would smell like, if you know what I mean, but let's go ahead and try it out. Ooh, it does actually kind of taste like a green apple Jolly Rancher. Ooh, that's super refreshing. So I'm going to bring this with me. Again, I like having these bottles with me because once you go past the TSA check, there's usually a water refill station where you can fill up these bottles. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and check in with you guys in a bit. Bye, Sparky. Bye, baby. Saturday. It's actually been a couple of days since I last picked up the camera and vlogged, but I flew into my sister's place Thursday evening and we just had a very chill night. Yesterday, which was Friday, was the funeral and burial services of my grandma and she was just basically the grandma slash second mom of everyone in the family. So it was nice to come together with all our family members and just celebrate her life and just remember all the good times we had with her. She did live to about 92, I believe, so she had a very long and happy life. And then that evening, my cousin and his girlfriend came over to my sister's place and we ended up going out to like this local bar. It was a very low key place to watch the Warriors game, but it was such a nice area because they had like art set up all over the walls and it's kind of downstairs in like a downstairs basement area and all the decorations and setup was just really cool. They had a huge TV projection set up for the game and the Warriors did end up winning. So it was a victory for everyone. Today is Saturday. I just kind of finished getting ready. I think me, my mom, my brother, my sister, and my sister's partner are gonna head over to Lake Merritt and just spend the day there. I will try and vlog a little bit more today since I haven't really picked up the camera, but I think we're gonna just grab some food and maybe some coffee. But yeah, I will check in with you guys in a bit. Hi, Tatera. How, how are you in Oh, I love it. Which one is that one? Oh, I did like it. It's, a, it's IPA. I like this one. Right? It's good. It's good. 
This one? You try this one? Yeah. I feel like Kevin's periodically is so psychic. That's it. You only know it for that second. Did you try this? And then you move and then the grapefruit one. You move and you forget. Wait, is that the grapefruit one or is this the grapefruit one? I think this is the grapefruit one. I'm okay. Yes. So it has been the following day. As you can tell, I am back in my apartment. Yesterday, me and my family ended up going to this area called Jack London Square. It is in Oakland. It was about 10 minutes from my sister's place, so very close by, but it was a very cool spot. They have a lot of breweries in that area and restaurants, and it's by the water. So yeah, it was a ton of fun. We ended up going to a brewery that had a ton of IPAs and IPA is my preference if I am drinking beer, so all their beers were really good. There was also a food place connected to the brewery that sold bao buns, spicy noodles, and wontons, and everything was also so good. We were able to catch the sunset at the pier, which was really nice, and we just spent the rest of the evening at my sister's place. We ended up watching a movie. I actually had a very early flight this morning, so I was up at 5 a.m. My flight was at around 7.30, so I got back to Orange County at around 9 this morning and my fiance just picked me up and we ended up getting brunch as you saw earlier. We ended up going to this brunch spot in Orange County called Nut Cafe. If you are in the area, I totally recommend that place. This brunch spot was recommended to me by my friend. It's basically a Vietnamese fusion type of restaurant, but everything was amazing. The bone marrow pasta was so rich and so flavorful. The beef tongue fried rice was also so good. And we also got the Szechuan spicy noodles. I hope I'm saying that right, but that was also really good. It was really spicy, and I thought I had a high spice tolerance, but even that was spicy for me. We also got the crab toast, which was so delicious. I actually also got a salted egg coffee, as you saw earlier. I've never had a salted egg coffee before, and I was a little nervous to try, but it was honestly so good. The cream of that coffee kind of had the texture of Similar to Dalgona coffee when that was really popular like two years ago, but yes, the coffee was so, so good. Everything was amazing. Like I said, I totally recommend that brunch spot if you are in Orange County. And then after brunch, we just came back to my apartment and I ended up taking a long nap just because I did not have much sleep last night. I am kind of getting ready right now. Me and my fiance are just gonna go to the movies and probably just have a chill evening. I'm just looking forward to spending time with my fiance and Sparky since I haven't seen them the past couple of days. I will actually be flying back to NorCal again next weekend for my brother's graduation and graduation party. He will be graduating high school, so that will be a, another vlog for the next week or so. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.